I'm Dave Mercer. And I'm Matt Pangrak. Welcome to The Cull, a weekly sport fishing debate show where we decide to keep our cull a topic. This week, we're talking about back-to-back pro-level tournaments. Keep them or cull them, Panger. I think you got to cull them. There's a group of guys that really like the back-to-back tournaments, and I think it's the guys who are fishing in the tournaments. And it's the guys who are fishing in the tournaments who are just trying to get from tournament to tournament. Listen, it saves money. Uh, you can stay on the road longer. Uh, it, it's, it's more economical, especially if Bass ever decides to go back out to the West Coast. But up north, down in Florida, it's just hard to do one tournament. But on the same token, we're talking the top level guys, the biggest guys at the top level of the sport. And I think instead of having a season that is condensed with back to back, where you have a John Cruz who wins the first one and then has to be on the water 14 hours after he lifts the trophy up, I think you can spread it out more. You can give the anglers their due a little time to celebrate, a little time to take advantage of that victory and spread that season out to where it's longer and each champion gets their due respect and celebration. Uh, I, this is going to be a weird one, Penger, because I totally agree with you. And I know I'm going to get roasted by a lot of the people that I travel with week after week, because there's a lot of tournament anglers that do love back-to-backs. And I think with the exception of, you know, a West Coast swing, I think we go out West, you have to do two back-to-backs. I mean, you're not going to ask people to travel back and forth, but things like that are the exception to the rule. I would say go one step further. Not only do you not have any back-to-back events, but we go one tournament a month. I mean, how magical would it be if for an eight month string, we knew that the first week of every month or the third week of every month or the fourth week of every month, there's always a Bassmaster Elite Series event. You could plan your schedule around it. It allows other leagues to schedule around us and it gives freedom for the opens and all sorts of things to happen. But ultimately what it does is it values the angler more. And I get it. You're going to spend a little bit more money traveling. But when you do win, and let's remember, the most important thing in the sport and the most, the rarest thing in the sport is winning. It's not going to happen very often. So when it does happen, it should be maximized. You should get ultimate media value. It should be everybody should be talking about you winning. I mean, you don't have to look any further than, you know, a few weeks ago. Jason Christie won the Bassmaster Classic on the very same weekend as Dustin Connell. And I love DC. He's won. Not a lot of people were talking about DC because everybody was talking about Christie. And that exact same thing happens now. Those are two different leagues, a whole different topic. I get it. But the exact same thing happens when you have back to backs. Generally, I mean, Lord, I mean, if you if you win the second one, you do a little bit better. Mm-hmm. But man, if Gerald Swindle wins the first one, you're going to get screwed. If you get a media darling like Swindle to win, that's all everybody's going to talk about. So I'm all for getting rid of back-to-back events. They are short-term gain with long-term pain. One of the things you hear people talk about in this sport a lot the last few years is growing the sport. And that is a simple thing we as a sport could do to literally grow the sport. I mean, you don't have to look at schedules, don't have to wonder. It's the second week of the month. There's always an elite series on the second week of the month. So I'm all for culling back-to-back tournaments. I I couldn't agree with you more, Dave, but one of the things that you did not bring up that I think is just as important as what you brought up is now we spread out the techniques. Now we have maybe two spawn tournaments. Now we have a post-spawn tournament, a summer tournament, a fall tournament. You know, one of the upsides of the rescheduling from a couple years ago due to COVID was the season went into the fall. Yeah. We got to see anglers who, who made their career on the back of nomadic fish chasing bait fish in the fall with spinner baits and top waters really fish their strengths. And they said, this is the first time in over a decade that I've gotten to fish my strengths because you start with a back to back in Florida and then you have another back to back And now you've got four spawn tournaments there in the beginning. And now there's a whole group of guys, not to mention rookies and stuff who are, if they're struggling eight days into their elite series career, and it's been like six weeks and their season's 50% over. This gives the rookies time to adjust. This gives the entire field a better 
gauge at catching fish under all conditions across the country. It allows for celebrating the winners. It allows for guys who, who get their teeth kicked in in the first one to regroup, to actually go work for their sponsors, to, to, to have a part-time job if that's something that they have, if they're not to the level where, you know, the only thing that they do is fish. But back-to-backs, I'm with you on this one 100%. I'm calling it. And I think the thing that most people won't, some people will watch this and they'll be like, well, celebrate, who cares about their celebration? But by celebration, we don't mean partying. We mean that they're like, if going you to win the factory event, of their soft plastic sponsor, taking the guys out who they're wrapped with, doing yeah. podcasts and shows. And, and doing and, and being celebrated by the entire industry. I mean, what do we get now? A guy wins an elite series event. 732 cell phones go in front of their face and they keep making the same video over and over again. I mean, I couldn't have done this without mm -hmm. Berkeley Max Center, whoever they're and thinking. And then they go later, make, they're idling out. Yeah. It, 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 we are, the most valuable thing in this sport is a victory. You look at Hall of Fame. I mean, Davey Height is a Hall of Fame angler. Nobody will ever argue that. Two-time angler of the year, classic champion. He has eight wins. Eight wins wins in bass i mean that's how rare it happens in a hall of fame career we should not rush through it and man we are agreeing panger we got a roll I like going it. it here. feels good dave yeah yeah i'm i mean i don't know if viewers do but let us know what you think keep back-to-back -back tournaments or call them if some of those tournament angles are going to hate me panger they like the back-to-backs they do they do they like the the savings and i get that i mean i, I get it but no um, i mean i would too it would be nice if like the, op the opens are the worst because it's like every other week. So there's like an off week where you're stuck in there in no man's land. Yeah. But if it was once a month, that's why I like the MPFL schedule this year. They're literally yeah. doing, I mean, it's six, but they're doing like it's spread out throughout it. Plus you, I mean, there was one year they fished for spawning fish, like six out of the nine tournaments. Yeah. Yeah. It's too much. I mean, you got guys here who are like, okay, can we go somewhere where we're not looking at one? Yeah. I like but it. I understand. I think I, here's what I think. Also, I think you do like a northern swing and it's three weeks. I still don't think you have a back to back. I think you do a tournament and then you do like the little bass fest deal in between it for four or five days up there. And if you want to go home, you can. But if you want to stay up, you can do that because look at the look what the Waddington always jam packs yeah. up there. I think you could do like a three day thing, get a sponsor. Same thing out west. Remember when they went to Clear Lake? Yeah. So do that. Say this is the only thing. It's going to be our little month thing up north, but give them a five day break in between the two yeah. events. Throw an open in between them if you want. You know what I mean? Then you've well, got an option of even that. We fishing. Should have, we should have a. Oh, should probes be allowed to fish the open? No. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's another topic. It's, it's the Bassmaster Opens. Yeah, it does say open in the it's name. It's literally called the Bassmaster Opens. <laughs> we'll talk about that another time. Let us know what you think. Keep our call back-to-back -back tournaments. You didn't stop it? We're still going. Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> stopping now. You stopped it like five minutes ago. <laughs>